I don't know if I'm going to do it just yet, but in the later battles, I'm definitely going to have to start doing some editing out when there's a lot of turns of just sitting around or me catching up to the rest of the action. Because I really don't want to subject you guys to the whole thing if nothing's happening. That's what the walkthrough's for. You can watch the walkthrough if you want to see full, complete, unedited battles in their entirety. No frills, no fluff. But this is a let's play. It's a different atmosphere. It's a different tone. Different attitude. So. No. Yeah, we got to get over there. I was just watching quietly. I was seeing what was going to happen there. Okay. Can we get rid of this group really quickly? Because they're just slowing the whole thing down. Nope, not just yet. He's out of range of his bonus, but I think they'll still do okay. Good, good. They just needed to survive, that's all. Yeah, we're gonna let him lead the charge. My troops will die, probably. And at this rate, they can clean up for us. Hopefully. Good, good. Two levels to go. The countdown continues, but not for much longer. And so somebody will get healed. Put a couple people next to him. End of turn. I'm going to try to keep these videos to around 30 minutes each at the most. If I can get some a little bit shorter than that, that's fine. So, with that being said... Oh, but I probably can't edit out yet because there's too much going on over here. I really want to finish this fight in this episode though so this might be an exception if this has to run a little bit over so be it but moving forward I'm gonna watch that really closely alright I don't think I've lost any archers yet though I don't want to get too careless though. I mean, I know they got high defense, but I don't want to completely ignore them and then lo and behold, I lose one. That would be kind of sad. Okay. This is where we start getting him involved. Movement's going to be a little slow for this turn, but that's okay. We'll get there eventually. Only concern is the same as it always is. What is Chris and her group going to do? I've probably slipped sometimes and called her Mina without realizing, but her name in this version is Chris, so I'm going to try to stick to that. And thankfully, a lot of them won't attack because they're damaged, so we'll just wait. Got the perfect formation right now. They can't get past the wall. Got the 10th one of the world right here. I think 9th is already taken, so can't really call that one. I wonder what she's up to these days, by the way. For those of you who are at all into or were into that scene, I haven't followed wrestling for years, though. I kind of got pulled into it when I was younger because my cousin and brother were really into it, so I kind of tagged along, like with a lot of things, but as I got older, I just really didn't care. I think by the time the WWF became WWE, I had no idea what was going on anymore anyway, so don't ask me, I don't know. Don't do it guys, don't do it, you're gonna die. Ah, uh, it's too late. But they didn't know, that's good. Just want a few. You can see, you attack them, they're like a three, two, five, I mean, you can't ask for too much more than that. Oh, come on guys, there you go, there you go, there you go. Okay, turn 23. This is going on too long. Actually, do I want to do that? I think I do. Because, see, he's still getting that bonus from Volkov. Meanwhile, look who can get involved. Because he's strong enough now. I'm 
comfortable not having him at full health before I get involved. That's fine. I think he can handle it. The question is, can any of his troops get involved? Not really. But next turn, yes. So we're going to continue to move people where we can. You really need to be healed, but you're going to have to wait a little bit longer, it looks like. Okay. And there we go. I'm going to move you forward. Hopefully occupy some spaces that her people won't. And at this rate, they can't really get around here, so... I'm okay pulling you over here. Good, they waited. I was really hoping they weren't going to push forward. I guess if you're really, really good, and you really have a lot of experience with this, and you understand how they move, you could probably manipulate them a little bit based on where you positioned your people, but... I, again, I haven't even been playing this game a full month yet. I don't know it that well, so you got to know your limitations. I have not mastered the art of exploitation of it just yet. There's also different cheat codes and things you can use, but I, I'm not a big fan of that sort of thing. I'm not going to be doing any of that. I feel bad enough just playing it on an emulator instead of actual hardware, but it's just more practical these days for me. You know, I move around a lot, probably because of my work. You know, I do a lot of traveling and things like that. I'm not really nestled in one place for too long, so after a while it just didn't really make sense for me to lug around all this stuff, so. And that's one of the bonuses and benefits of emulation that a lot of people overlook. In today's lifestyle, it just for a lot of people it just makes a lot more sense and what am I gonna do with you hopefully I don't regret this I'm going to move you right here now it's not like I'm emulating you know current or recent stuff I mean we're talking about stuff that's been around for decades it's old it's out of print nobody's making any money off of it whatsoever and a lot of instances you can't even find this stuff new anymore whatsoever not even in somebody's collection so it's not really hurting anybody on any level by emulating in fact in a lot of instances it's actually helping you know it's giving a lot of companies and a lot of titles exposure and attention that they wouldn't have already gotten and if you look at this as art in a, in a sense I would like to think that the developers of these titles view their work as art in a form in a sense and on one level they're just happy that you know it's being recognized I think that's got to account for something oh they should have did better than that that's how I'm looking at it at least but again everybody won't look at things the same way so I can't speak for everybody nor do I intend to we're gonna attack the strongest one that seems like the most practical way to go about this getting so close y'all I think we can make this by the end of this I think we can do it so if I get a little quieter here and there, it's only because I'm focused, I'm concentrating. Again, I want to be very careful where I put people. We're actually going to take you and move you. Actually, no, you're good there. I think you'll make a good distraction for a little bit longer. Speaking of distractions... I think this is the further he can move. That's fine. Protecting him at the same time. And I think we can move him out just a little bit. Yeah. Let's try this setup. I think we got a decent formation here. Not perfect, not ideal, but it's workable. And you're attacking archers. Good. That's all I wanted right now. And they're weak, they're not going to do too much. He will attack. He might die, actually. This is bad. This is bad. Good, 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 good. I didn't think about that. <laughs> Again, it's a lot of things you have to weigh when you make your decisions here. Because they could have killed him. And that would have been a waste of experience. Now, this group only has two left, so naturally we want to focus on them. 
take out the easy one first. Level 9, one to go. Can we do it? There's only a few people left on the map. Can we make it? I'm hoping. And it's crucial that we do because... Him getting promoted now means by the start of the next fight, he'll, act, he'll have access to new troop types. Which will make that so much easier. And come on, guys. You're not helping. I just explained my case here. We're on the same side. Help me out. Where can you go? Okay, good. Please. 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 Ah. Oh. oh, no. You know what? I'm going to be patient and wait. I don't want to lose any more of my men. Because they're going to help me get that experience that much faster. Okay, so let's pull back a little bit. Let's put the weaker archers forward. If anybody attacks, or gets attacked rather, I want it to be them. He's going to treat on his next turn because he's too weak to do anything else. That's what the AI is scripted to do in this situation, so I'm not worried about him. I really hope you guys don't move forward, but if you do it's your own funeral, I can't be bothered to care at this point. Yep, there you go, doing your thing. But they're probably still okay right now. It's on you at this point. I've tried. I've more than tried. Yeah, see? See? That's why I'm setting them up like this. Because every hit for Leiden counts right now for him to hit level 10 before the next fight. In fact, if he didn't hit level 10 before the next fight, I'd probably start this over as much as I don't want to. So, granted, if you're seeing this, oh, good job, guys. If you're seeing this, you already know that he did because I wouldn't have uploaded it. So, there you go. Okay, they got a little bit of health back. That's good. Now, we're going to... Hopefully finish him off. Don't be stubborn. Don't drag this out. Excellent. Yeah, he's going to hit level 10, no problem. Now, even though I don't have to give all of these to him at this point, I'm still going to because Volkov, again, isn't going to get anything for it, so why bother? Next turn is when we finish it up, I think. Level 10. Level 10. Here it is, guys. Okay, decisions. Knight or Lord? No decision at all. We're going to make him a Lord. I'll explain why in just a bit. Right now, let's focus on these guys. Yeah, that's not even a debate. Hmm. Would you rather have $500 or $500 million? Hmm. Well, okay. That's kind of a gap there. It's not that big of a difference, but... See, the thing about Knights, they have good attack. They have great attack, actually. But they're so weak defensively. They're so squeamish. I mean, really, they're made out of Twinkies and Little Debbies, so I really... Mm -mm, that's really not good. You want your leader to be very strong defensively. This is why we made him a Lord. And... He now has extended range for his troops. I'm not actually going to attack with him just yet. I want to get him some more health first. One more turn to go, guys. Be patient. We're getting there. Thanks for holding out with me. Because even though we just got him to Lord, I'm not going to rest on my laurels. We want to get him to his next and final. Yes, right. His third promoted class as soon as possible, too. Because if you can take advantage of these early fights, get a ton of experience, it's going to make the mid section of the game that much easier when things get really tough, really tricky. All right, Mina, you're going to move forward, right? Yep, of course you are. And it's always a citizen that gets closer to the enemy. Not Mina. Oh, but I guess they're protecting her. And see, they're going to... they He's going to attack them. See, under any other cir circumstance, he wouldn't even be concerned with them. All right, at least she's going to make it out with two. They didn't all die. And see, it's hard to care about them when they do stuff like that. It really is. All right, can you guys do any damage to him whatsoever?
Yes, you can. Question. Can you guys finish this fight in this turn? No, you can't, but you came very close, and I thank you. Because he's not going to do anything next turn now. Thanks, Chris. A little late, but... Because, see, he's just going to heal himself. Again, anytime they hit seven or less, that's what they do. Lead in, if you please. We're sick of looking at them. And we're done. Chris, are you alright? I'm fine. Prince Leiden? You are Prince Leiden, aren't you? Prince! Duke Hawking! I haven't seen you for a long time. What brings you here? The castle of Balsha has been attacked by Dalsus. What? And what of your father, King Isaac? I have no news. I was sent to gather more troops. I haven't much time to waste. Alright, I will help you get the troops ready. You should get some rest now. I appreciate your help, Duke Hawking. And that's a pretty cool guy. We'll be seeing more of him later. That's another reason you want to take out everybody and not just focus on the leader. You'll end the fight faster, but you'll sacrifice experience and points to recruit more people for the future, which does come into play. So, thanks for watching. This has been part three, the end of Scenario 2's battle. Please join me for part four when we start Scenario 3. Take care and hopefully see you soon.